Hello wine lovers, I just blind tasted a lot of wines from Spain. I'm going through some of the results here again. I'm having two wines in front of me from Bodegas Blay, uh, which is a new acquaintance to me, but certainly impressed me with the high quality of these wines. I will start to talk about the Clos Martina, which is a, a very limited production. This is a self-sufficient, uh, sustainable production, maximum 30,000 bottles a year, so forth. So we don't see too many of these wines, and uh, we all know the quality of uh, Priorat, what we've seen in the last uh, 20 years. We know the reds much more and I was really impressed by by the quality of this white uh, Garnacha. It has a quite orange, quite bold color already. So we think it's, um, I mean, more in a natural or alternative style. But I would still say that the nose here takes me more towards Burgundy and Puligny or Meursault. So very fine oak. We have a lot of roasted nuts with stone fruit and some tropical hints. Mm. And I really like the palette because it's showing an ample fruit and ripeness, but yet with a very bright acidity and freshness here. And um, I wrote in my notes that it has a structure of a red wine, uh, but it's white. So there's a really fine level of um, skin contact or, or tannin or what we would like to call it. Unctuous stone fruit, uh, very long finish and really well managed oak. Uh, this is a style that to me in terms of texture takes me, my mind towards old school white Hermitage, what, which I actually love. So uh, really impressive for its style and uh, I think a benchmark wine for white Priorat. We continue with the red one, uh, which is a blend of the traditional varieties of Garnacha and Samso, which is a very ancient uh, grape variety from from Catalonia. We have a dash of Syrah in here as well, but mainly it's the old vine Garnacha that gives the main, um, uh, it's the bread and butter of this cuvee. Uh, and again, I would say this is um, more a new school. Uh, the wine is still concentrated, but it's showing more of that schist or slate minerality coming from Priorat with much more well managed in terms of, of oak aging. So a beautifully uh, floral nose here with spicy notes of ginger, clove, pepper. There's a lot of crushed, crushed red and dark berries and very modest oak. Mm. It's a structured wine, but still the palate to me is rather medium towards full bodied. Uh, not massive in any way, even if we feel that high ripeness of fruit. Um, really beautifully crushed berry notes with floral hints and that mild spiciness. And um, I'd say in my notes that this was rather a um, pre-rut with more of a Burgundian texture. So finely rounded with a good drinkability and a long pure finish today.